The History of Photography Remix is a 35 millimeter slideshow consisting of 40 images. Each image is a redrawing of an existing photograph from the history of photography dating from 1850 to the present. The title of the piece is called The Remix and Remix is, comes kind of from the language of DJs and hip-hop. When you're a DJ you play records and I think when you're a curator you play art pieces and I think more and more artists also take on the role of image DJs and that's why I felt comfortable to make a piece on the history of photography because it's nothing else but playing kind of a collection of images just like a DJ plays a suite of records. Coming here to the MIA is coming like to a really incredible record store because there are so many, so many images to play with in a way. There's kind of families of images. For example, there's the images that really kind of talk about the technical process. There's a picture of a Polaroid camera and there's a, a, a remake of a slide, 35 millimeter Kodachrome slide. And they kind of talk about the material of photography and the, uh, the machine apparatus. It's kind of photos looking at themselves very directly. And then there is the family of pictures that are kind of the photo artists that inspire, uh, inspire me. And then I th there's photojournalism is uh, also definitely a part of it. I try to directly translate you know, an, a photograph into a drawing. And I, I really try to be literal. I don't invent anything. When OJ smiles for f six frames in my animation, he also smiled for this. I could count six frames in the original uh, TV footage that he was smiling. But of course, there is a difference between the animation and the original and that just comes because from the fact that there are different languages. I also really think of this as a language. Every shape that I draw has to describe something. For example, I don't draw weird uh, shadows on a face. I draw you know, nostrils, lips, eyebrows, jackets. And so it almost becomes like languages, like words, but that take um, shapes and colors. I think a problem of the art discourse is that it exists in kind of an ivory tower, art schools, museums, um, expensive art magazines, um, and I'm, I've always been very interested in a kind of more democratic language, and my, uh, uh, that's why I'm happy to see that this museum doesn't charge cover and that there's loads of school children coming every day. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, happy if my work can be in conversation with people that outside of the ivory tower.